Hi guys, just a very quick video here. Uh, it's going to be a bit crude, unfortunately. Apologies for that. Um, just showing what happens when you use two LEDs, like I have. So this is my Phantom 1.5 that many are quite aware of. Uh, front LEDs flashing away, and I've also got the NASA V2 LED flashing away. Um, as you can see, I'm all plugged in with a Phantom 2 battery, even though this is a Phantom 1 innards, um, my little special connector. Uh, anyway, this is what happens when you plug it into the USB. So I'll just put the camera down here whilst I do that. So I've got my laptop fired up, and I plug it in. Okay, and no noise from my laptop, and as you can see, normally when you would plug your LED in, you would actually get a uh, steady green light. Um, no sign of it on the NASA Assistant, and as we can see, the status lights now are all over the place. So we've got green green on the V2, and we've got the varying signals on the actual stock one. So uh, by the sounds of it I'm going to have to do something like um, remove the earth lead. Um, I've got to disable one of them from the point of view of USB um, but it may fail. I might decide just to go with one so uh, we'll see. So looking at the guts of the Phantom to combat the problem um, basically when you plug the USB plug in um, it's obviously stealing power, it's causing problems, it's not connecting. Um, what I've done with this dual LED setup, um, so there's the stock LED at the front and then the V2 LED at the back. Uh, what I've done is I've actually just wired a very light 3 gram switch into the VCC that goes to the LED board. Um, I tried to begin with with the ground wire, um, that didn't actually work, that caused a USB error. Um, but basically by wiring a switch into the uh, the positive, the VCC, um, that seems to solve the problem. All that happens is when you switch it off, uh, you'll notice that the front light, whilst, uh, whilst you're in kind of warm-up mode, goes to green um, and the back one will go to amber that basically says that the green light is not getting both signals um, as soon as you do that USB kicks in so um, anyway much easier for me to demonstrate that so uh, I'm just going to tidy the wiring up here get the shell back together again and I'll give you a demonstration of what I mean okay so here's the test uh, switch is all wired in uh, so there's my little switch sticking out the side okay so as we can see at the moment we've got the V2 LED flashing away and we've got the front LED flashing away both in unison at the moment both of these difficult to get them both in both of them flashing the same colours so if I try this camera down for a moment I will now plug this into the NASA assistant which I've done there and as you can see Rather than the steady green light, we've got flashing light here. You can see in the background there's a weird flashing light going on there. And also on the NASA, no activity whatsoever, no good. So now all we need to do is flip this. We hear a USB noise. We now get steady green. We don't. Um, yes, we do. Yep, we get steady green at the front as well. A bit hard to see there. And most importantly, there's a resistant, as you can see. As I move my TX, is now connected and working. So, nice little 3 gram switch in there, very simple, and now I've got a front and rear LED all working, along with uh, the ability to update via USB.